Hello, financial literacy class. It's Friday, April the 3rd, the last day before spring break. I know it's been an interesting week. It's been a difficult week in many ways uh, for several of you uh, with the news that we've received. I'm thinking about our seniors right now, and I know that uh, we got news that at least I didn't want to hear, and many of you all, I'm certain, did not want to hear either. Uh, plans are still being made to do what we can in May. Uh, for a potential graduation ceremony, as Mr. Brooks has shared. We just don't know the details yet. I think everybody's kind of in limbo. But one thing I do know for sure is that there's a lot of people that are disappointed, a lot of people that are upset. And I can speak as your teacher, and I can speak for many of our teachers. We feel that pain and share that pain and frustration with you. And for that, we're sorry. We're sorry. We did not... Uh, nobody anticipated this type of situation. It's unprecedented. And it's like I shared with you in class, this will be something that, that you'll be talking about the rest of your life and you'll remember it for the rest of your life. And that's been even cemented even more in the, in the, in the days that have passed in recent, in recent memory. But we're going to keep pushing through. When we get back, we've got three weeks left. I've shared with you from day one that the information that we get in this class can be very beneficial to you in your life, and I pray that you take it for that and, and do your best effort. Um, I hope by the end of today today, I'll have the grade book updated. I'm still missing some work from many of you, uh, but I'm gonna try to get all those grades in. I've tried to be very flexible. I've tried to give you extra time to do things and before I have to sit down and put all that in, but I've gotta get stuff in. We've gotta have an accurate measure of where you are. Uh, if you're having any issues getting the work done, you've got to communicate with me. I've heard from some of you, and you all know, I think, and will say that when you've contacted me, I've responded back very quickly. Uh, at least I hope that you can say that. I want to help you, but I can't help you if I don't know that you have a problem or if there's an issue that's keeping you from doing the work. Uh, so reach out not only to me as your teacher for this class, but I would say that's true with all your classes. All your teachers want you to be successful. So I hope by the end of the day today, I'll have the grades updated in the grade book. I also uh, have some assignments that I've plugged in this week and even some yesterday. And I, and I hope that you take the time to do those things. I haven't given you a lot of work uh, to do. Uh, I've tried to structure it, but I know that there's a lot of different pieces going on, not only for our class, but for your other classes as well, and it can get hard to keep up with. I would encourage you to set a time up each day to, to look at each class that you have. You may want to spend this time checking up on this class and then another time period to check up on another class. And, and that way you can keep it straight in your head. I know for myself, I'm even struggling keeping up with my classes that I have, and I have to kind of tell myself to do the same thing. So just because I'm old doesn't mean I don't have those same issues sometimes that, that even you may have. Uh, but uh, And this is not something that's fun as your teacher, and I can speak for other teachers. We'd much rather be in the school building with you. But we are going to continue to make the best of it. So first step would be for me to get those grades updated, which I'm going to do. Please take the time to look over the stuff I've sent you. Uh, I sent you a message through not only Schoology, but the same message I attached to Remind. I'm frustrated with Schoology, and I know many of you all are as well. I was on earlier today on Friday and did not have any issues uh, with a couple of things in there. Then I checked on it just a few minutes before I started this video, and it seems to be down, at least temporarily. Again, that's because of all the traffic that that website is getting from schools all over the country. And at Carrollton, we use the basic version of Schoology we have from day one. We've never really had any issues with that, uh, but uh, they also have a paid uh, version of that as well. But over the last couple of years, Carrollton's been migrating over to Google Classroom, so a lot of your teachers are using that. Uh, but we're still in many of our business classes, we're using Schoology, and, um, and I don't know at this point if it would be worthwhile to switch over to Google Classroom with just three weeks remaining uh, in, in, our, in our term. Uh, I know that's hard to believe saying that, uh, but, it, but here we are. So work on the assignments, the investing stuff, 
I've tried to give you a little bit of background lessons. There's a new program called EdPuzzle. You don't have to be in Schoology to do EdPuzzle, uh, but I've given you that information through Schoology to get on to EdPuzzle. So if you can't have not accessed that information, uh, please do so as soon as possible. I'd like for you to watch the videos. Two of the videos, you have to look at my face, which I know is, is, is disappointing. But there's two other videos also that I imported in, and I have questions in those videos, and the questions should be very simple if you're watching the video. The two videos I sent you are less than 15 minutes each, and the other two videos are less than, I think both of them are less than four, four and a half minutes each. So answer those questions. The, 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 you will get a grade for that, uh, but all you have to do is listen to the, to the video, and the questions are very simple. Uh, I promise you that. I want it to be simple, but I also want you to get the basic information that they were trying to cover in this format. There's so many things we could tie into investing, and there'll be a few things that we'll do after the break. Uh, there's a quizlet of key terms that you need to be familiar with. Uh, that is also in Schoology. I can send you that link as well if you haven't gotten it from Schoology. Make yourself familiar with those key terms. Uh, we also are going to do some calculation problems when you buy stock at one price, how much money have you spent, and then if you sell it at another price, how much money did you make or did you lose? We're going to do some problems like that when we get back right after spring break as well. I haven't put that in yet, uh, but I'll be working on that. So I'll post some things over the break, but understand there's not going to be any work due, new work due during spring break. Of course, some of you, when I put in these zeros that you may have coming, you may decide you want to try to get some work done. So if you do work over the break, even though you don't have to, if you do work over the break to get caught up, when you get a, a set of assignments done, send me an email. Say, Mr. Skinner, go back and check this one, this one, this one, and this one, and I'll go back and check and update the grade book. You can do that uh, easily through an email or you can send me a remind message because I want you grade accurate. I want you to do as well as you possibly can uh, with everything. So with all that being said, uh, I hope you have a great break. Again, communicate with me. I can't help you if you don't communicate. I'm trying to do what I can to communicate, but enjoy your time the best you can while you're holed up in the house. Pay attention to what the, the, the health officials are saying. Take this thing seriously. I don't want you sick, and I don't want anybody in your family sick. And if you got somebody sick, um, praying that everybody gets well quickly. All right? Y'all take care. Enjoy your break. And I won't bug you again with another video until we get back. God bless.